you guys. So today's video I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience volunteering in a hospital and I don't really think it's going to be a very long video but I think it may be helpful to people who are looking to go into medicine or just even the healthcare field in general to know the benefits of volunteering in a hospital setting or a medical setting before choosing what you want to do. So I chose to volunteer in a hospital mainly because I wanted to get experience uh, in the hospital interaction with, interacting with patients and interacting with physicians, nurses, and I just really wanted to be in that hospital setting before I 100% set my sights on working in a hospital. So what I do at my position is I'm called a volunteer escort. And I'm responsible for discharging patients, so when the nurse puts through the discharge for someone, I go up there with my little wheelchair, and I get them in the wheelchair, and I take them down to their car. Um, I deliver, like, flowers and mail to patients, which is one of my favorite things to do, just because they get so happy and so excited when they receive something. It is very gratifying to me to see these patients happy in such an unfortunate setting. I, um, I do lab runs, so when there's specimens to be registered or to be analyzed, I take them to and from the lab. I go down to the storeroom and SPD, sterile processing department, and take supplies up to different units, and I take stuff from units to SPD or the storeroom. So it's really a very diverse position. I'm doing a lot of different things. I'm on my feet a lot, and I honestly love it. I wish that I could do that for the rest of my life. It's just very fun, and I get to interact with a bunch of different people. I get to interact with um, patients, visitors, doctors, nurses, techs, just a bunch of different, uh, a wide range of people I, I come in contact with. So I work four hours. I, it's, one shift is four hours. So that's what I do. I work, I, I say work, I volunteer. Um, but I volunteer two days for four hours. And that is seriously like enough for me. Like after those four hours, I am exhausted. I go home and lay in bed. Like I'm very tired after doing what I do. So yeah, I, I always just, try and recommend if you are, aren't really sure in what capacity you want to provide care to, to volunteer. So I know that before I volunteered, I was pretty, had my sights set on nursing. However, I was always kind of dabbled in the PA department. Um, but getting into the hospital and seeing in what capacity nurses provide care, it really just sealed the deal. And I decided I wanted to for sure be a nurse. So even if you're not in the healthcare field, just volunteering in general is a great way to gain experience and not only gain experience, but you really stand out when applying for colleges or applying for a job. Uh, the potential employer or university sees that you can be committed to an organization and you're volunteering. You're not, you're not getting paid for what you do. However, you still do it. The hospital that I am at has a junior volunteer program, so if you are in high school, you can still volunteer, and I am pretty sure that's probably pretty common around the, the country, And but I'm I'm a adult volunteer, like I'm not in high school, so I think the capacities in which volunteers work in may be a little different, like the job capacities, however... The volunteer escort is what I do. I know that they have an escort that um, volunteers in the emergency department, so they're basically kind of doing the same thing that we do. However, they are in the emergency department. We need special clearances to volunteer in the ER, and I, I just didn't think that that would be something that would be good for me to start off in. They also have, like, nurses uh, aides and, um, not nurses aides, nurses assistant volunteer positions where, you know, you just help out the nurse. Um, I don't think they had any openings when I was applying or else obviously I would have applied to do that. They have like pharmacy volunteers, gift shop volunteers, they have um, 
like information desk volunteer. So if you are a little bit older and you're not interested in being on your feet for the full four hours, I you can do you can still volunteer and not be on your feet for four hours and running around the hospital, which is what we usually do. Um, so I would just highly recommend it. It has opened my eyes to the hospital and how a hospital works and it just it's great networking opportunity as well. Um, I have gotten and come in contact with so many different nurses and you know if if I do like once I do graduate nursing school and I do come back home to volunteer I have I, I have connections at that hospital so doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to get the job but they will see that I volunteered there and that I obviously was committed and even if you want to put those nurses down that you do know as a reference that would be really helpful I think too. So just networking and getting into the hospital setting, the hospital environment is a great great um, learning experience I think and that goes for any other type of environment. It doesn't need to be a hospital, it can be in a company. As long as they accept volunteers, you could go anywhere. So I definitely recommend volunteering. I am so happy that I did it and I know that it really just kind of sealed the deal with my interest to go into nursing. So I hope that this video was kind of helpful and it maybe inspired you to go out and maybe look for volunteer opportunities. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!